Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So the last time we chatted was back in January with my January Coach's Corner. And then life got a little crazy in February and then life got a whole lot of crazy in March and the world as we knew it changed. So it is now April. Um, April, let me see, April 7th, I kind of lost track of the days to be honest. And this is the fourth, we are in the midst of the fourth week of shelter in place here in New York City, which as everyone knows is the epicenter of this pandemic here in the United States. Um, there has been some good news obviously coming out today that we are reaching a plateau in New York City. Um, really that is uh, good news, but also uh, they have told us that that doesn't mean that we are going to be jumping back into anything um, anytime soon. So right now we have shelter in place until April 29th. I have a feeling that's probably going to last longer than April 29th, but we'll see. And Basically, what I have been doing during this time is I have been enjoying solo runs. My New York City Half Marathon has been canceled. That was back in February. And then I have Brooklyn Half Marathon, which is slated to be happening May 19th. I am almost fairly certain that they will be definitely um, not continuing that. So what does that mean for me as a runner right now? It means that I'm enjoying running at my own kind of leisurely pace and with no training plan really on the books. Although I have started a, a maintenance training plan with coach John Honerkamp, who is uh, based here in New York City, and he is also part of the Brooks Run Happy team, which on a very positive note, I have been selected for, for 2020. So I am representing Brooks this year and um, all the amazing stuff that they do and products they have for runners. Um, so that's one of the perks of being a Run Happy team member is that we get to work with uh, some of these kind of uh, very well-known coaches here in New York City. So I'm, I'm using his base training plan for a half marathon. My on the horizon way out in the distance uh, race is obviously the 2020 New York City Marathon and I do hope at that point it come November that we have gone back to some semblance of normalcy normal being um, probably subjective to whatever we are dealing with at the time uh, so I do have that on the horizon but yeah I'm spending a lot of my my moments here in my bedroom because I've been teaching my classes virtually and I'm gonna leave my virtual class schedule in the description box below they um, they're they're done on Monday and Wednesdays Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I've kind of made times available so if you are um, an international student you would be able to take my classes there should be a time that works in our time zone differences but I've had such an outpouring of love for those classes and I get to see my crew that I would have normally seen at all the studios I teach at, plus getting to get to know so many of you guys out there has just been incredible. Um, so I will put a description uh, down below of all of those classes and how you can reach out to me if you would like to take any of those. Um, they're primarily Pilates, bar, I do a sculpt class, and every Wednesday at four o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time, I do a free class, a free sculpt class. It's a pay it forward class, meaning that you take it for free and my hope is that you pay the kindness forward in your community to the people who need it most during this um, crazy time that we're living through in, in our history. So that's basically it. I decided to take my GoPro and gimbal out for a little run, uh, one of my solo runs, and I also had to go into Manhattan on Saturday to pick up some things I needed to have um, 
from work from home. And I had to stop by and pick that up from the clinic, which is closed at the moment. And as well as um, something from a storage unit, I rode the city bike in fully covered with uh, the masks that we have been wearing. And um, yeah, so I took a little bit of footage because I was able to ride my bike literally straight down Times Square because there was nobody there. So um, yeah, that's basically where I'm at, um, trying to stay very positive, trying to keep others healthy, and enjoying this moment in time in which I go outside and I run, not because I have a race um, or that I have a training plan that I need to get to, but that I'm, I'm going out and running because mentally it is keeping me clear and the weather has really turned beautiful now that spring is upon us here in New York City the flowers and everything is just really gorgeous so that's that's a little check-in update with me now that I have this extra time I do plan on being more devoted to this channel and taking you for more of my solo runs because yes they are solo runs and you're used to that with me because I tend to run solo anyway but um, in what is now my new normal at the moment and yeah and coming up with ways to stay in touch with you guys and communicate with you guys on how we are doing here in New York City and I would love to know how you guys are doing as well so leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're faring through all of this. More than ever, I feel like, yes, we may be apart, but we're never alone. And I do encourage you to please run solo, not with friends, really kind of um, use this time if you need someone if you need to run with a friend by all means call any of us that you know out there any of your friends we'll talk to you the entire run but please 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 continue to practice social distancing and stay six feet apart cover yourself while you're out to protect yourself and others and i really do feel we will we will get through this and we will get through this together and we are strong and we were made to do hard things and if anything was ever going to showcase to us just how how much we were made to do hard things it's going to be this moment in time so with that enjoy some of this footage that i got from my um, bike ride into the city as well as what it's been like on these solo distance runs and i'll check in with you guys next week i'll have another video coming for you just checking in and let's just keep that line of communication open i'm here for you if you need it and i know that you're there for me if i need it too so you guys until next week cheers wash your hands stay safe stay strong and run solo So I made it to Times Square, and normally Times Square is packed like shoulder to shoulder, shoulder people. I mean, it's crazy all the time. Um, I'm gonna give you a little look at what it looks like now because it's not the Times Square you're used to seeing. So you can see just how truly empty it is. If you're able to ride the bike literally straight down the street. As you can see, Broadway is dark. There's nobody on the streets. It's very strange.